Uganda Revenue Authority says domestic taxes performed well upon the partial easing of restrictions on the economy. The reason behind the 1 trillion shillings plus recorded between July and September. As you know, a number of companies and businesses are still closed, others are still downsizing. So we still don't fully understand what the impact will be in the coming quarter, in the second quarter which we are in now. URA's Commissioner General John Musinguzi, however, says that the steeper 4 trillion shillings revenue collection target for this second quarter, October to December, may be achieved through tighter mechanisms. Intensified surveillance for wider coverage, especially of our porous borders, by use of satellite imagery, regional electronic cargo tracking systems, and enhanced cross-border intelligence information exchange. In light of the prevailing economic environment on businesses, URA is also saying taxpayers with liabilities and related disputes estimated at nearly 1.2 trillion shillings which are filed before court, should consider easier options. We still have a number of cases which are in the courts, and that is why we are calling upon the public, really, if we're able to resolve, we'll have a discussion around uh, some of these cases to be able to tie up the revenue that is, uh, is actually tied up. And you notice that some of the cases, really, it is a matter of having a discussion, and then we are really on the way forward. Some of the cases, there is almost no legal interpretation that is needed from the courts. The tax authority says that the ongoing voluntary tax disclosure window seeks to strengthen collections and sustained compliance, among others. Because of the COVID pandemic, the management found it necessary to emphasize voluntary disclosure before we can do any enforcement or any compliance-related action. Reina Ojon. NTV Business.